Well, up to today we have The Outlawed by Ray Hogan. This is the second book in the Sean Starbucks series. Um, filling the link down below to bookshop.org. You can um, buy The Outlawed in one of those library bindings with a large print for us old people. Stupid expensive. I'm not even going to put the link to it down below. Because you can just get the ebook with books one and two for like $1.99 or $2.99 on um, the Kindle store. Just do that. Like, do you really need to spend $35 on a on a 150-page uh, Western? No, you don't. What am I? Well, I guess you could if you want to. It's not my money. I shouldn't be telling you what to do with your money. Anyway, it's late. It's way past my bedtime. But I just finished this, and by the time I could record it, uh, do any recording again it'll be like five six days from now and if i don't do this now i will forget everything about this book so bear with me so on this one sean sets out to find this um ivory guy who could be his brother because he's searching for his brother right and on his way to the boxy ranch he comes across this guy that's getting ready to walk into an indian ambush um, sorry, Native American ambush. I don't want to get canceled. I, I don't remember, um, which type of what group of Native Americans was hunting him down. It doesn't really matter. So, Sean helps this guy get out of the jam. And, um, the guy, the guy's in rough shape. Like, he, his horse is lame and, and he just, he, he needs some R&R &R and everything. Well, they, he helps them get out of the jam, so they go to this the nearest town, where apparently the man that Sean just helped, um, his name was Morgan Lynch, I think it was. They're going to Lynchburg. It was named after his family. Um, apparently, he got himself into some trouble and wasn't very welcome there. Well, well, of course, Sean is wanting to talk to this ivory guy, so he ain't going nowhere. But he get you know, because he came riding in with this guy, he just gets lumped in with them. And uh, Sean, being the stand-up guy he is, because he just has to do everything um, very proper, very, he's very noble to a T, to a fault, um, annoyingly so. Um, talks this guy, um, basically talks him and talks him into letting them stay the guy needs uh, you know his horse needs some help and he needs to talk to this guy for his brother well, come to find out this man that he helped uh shot the boxy's brother like 10 years ago um because he thought his land was stolen from his his parents because he had been off to war when he came back his parents sold the land and they wound up dead shortly after so it was all suspicious and uh, basically the city folk are worried that this guy was coming to settle the score. And so um, he talks him out of it um, and come to find out the, 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 the brothers of the, the dead man caught one that he was back in town, wants to drive them out. Um, still the sheriff's like, you know what, we're giving them until tomorrow, he's going to have to deal with it. Well... One of the brothers that ends up dead. It's not a spoiler. Um, and so this Morgan guy, everyone's looking at him. Morgan takes off. And Sean, not believing that Morgan could do this, or that Morgan did this, goes off after him. Of course, the posse gets riled up, follows Sean. And I think that's where we're going to end that there because I don't want to get into spoiler territory for now. Um, overall... This one was not as good as the Rim Rocker. Um, the Outlaw, at the beginning, I kind of felt like it was like two short stories that got mashed together to try to form a, a you know, a novel, a typical size Western novel. Um, there were parts where, um, there, the section where the, the, the brother got gunned down. It's like a long section where we follow Morgan around. And I don't really like that in stories where, 
you know, this is a Sean Starbucks story. We should be like with Sean Starbuck, regardless of what's going on elsewhere. Sean, Sean Starbucks not there. We shouldn't, I don't think we really should be there. But we were. So that kind of was like, I mean, it wasn't bad by any means, but I, I just, that kind of annoyed me a little bit. Um, that's what made me kind of feel like it was like, so is this a Morgan Lynch story or is this a Sean Starbucks, Starbucks story? You know, is, is Sean Starbuck just kind of in it to try to sell the story? You know, like, it was uh, Rim Rocker such a huge success that, you know, Ray Hogan had this idea for this outlawed book, but wanted to put the Sean Starbuck tag on it. I don't know. So, uh, spoiler. Okay, spoiler. Now we're getting into a spoiler here. Kind of knew something was up because, so he was going to talk to this ivory guy, Sean, that is, uh, because he could be his brother. But pretty early on, he gets another lead. And at no point during this does he really, does he make an attempt to talk to this Ivor guy until the very, very end. So already I'm like, well, either we just forgot that we're going to talk to this Ivory guy or we're just um, buying time until the start of the next book where he goes off to find this this other guy he caught wind of. But at the very end, you know, um, there's a big shootout at the, the box C uh, between um, Sean and Morgan and um, the, the last remaining brother and the dude that was hired to kill um, the brother that Morgan got um, uh, accused of. And the shootout, well, the, the guy that did the killing died, got gunned down, and that was supposed to be the ivory guy who um, Sean was uh, supposedly hunting now. Well, that's the whole premise of like this series, or at least the first two books, is that he's trying to find his brother. So that his, him, his brother getting gunned down in the second book, you know, kind of knew it wasn't going to be him, and it wasn't him. So that was kind of like a, he he kind of he kind of spoiled it himself a little bit, and I mean, yeah, it's, it is what it is. It's like it. That part of it didn't really sway my my opinions of it, but I just I just really it, the outlaw wasn't bad, but I just felt Rim Rocker was a lot funner. It was more fun. Um, the outlaw just kind of seemed like kind of felt like a quick paycheck to be honest. So um, this is something I'm probably going to continue on. I don't know if I'm going to read. Um, any more uh, Sean Starbuck uh, anytime soon, but this is definitely a contender to read at least a couple stories in uh, next year's June on the Range, assuming there's June on the Range next year, which I, I am because it seems like to be a, a really big success over there for uh, for um, Michael K. Vaughn. So I might, I might pick up three and four for that um, just to kind of see if it's something worth pursuing i'm not um you know i didn't didn't dislike the outlaw enough to say yeah i'm over it uh the rim rocker i thought was really fun so um i know this this these sean books can be fun so we'll see uh we'll see so that's it for this one peeps ray hogan's the Rim, the outlawed a sharp sean's dark buck story let me know down below if you've read The Outlawed, if you enjoy uh, Ray Hogan. Um, I am affiliate link down below if you want to spend $35 on a on a uh, hardcover library edition with the old man print. Um, or you can use my affiliate link for any other book that is not $35. So that's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.